Good evening. It's about quarter to six and it's still daylight, which is nice. And we're looking at the car from a different angle. Um, reason being, I'm changing my focus. The front is really waiting for the windscreen to go in. And although I could be bolting other bits together, I'll leave that until it's either pissing down with rain or dark. Um, while it's daylight and because I just want to understand how much work I need to put into this area. I'm going to do some cleaning up in here and start working out how to best prepare this whole area here. Um, the other reason for doing this is I'd want this car running as soon as possible, which means the fuel tank's got to go back in. So it has to be well bolted to these brackets here which are basically hanging in free air so i need to repair all of that and then get fuel tank in blah 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 blah, blah fix fix world 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 all the rest of it i've kind of admitted defeat and i don't think i'll be moting this within 11 days and driving it to birmingham but it will be going on the trailer so yeah i want it um actually drivable so I can drive it on my trailer. I also want to whip that tow bar off and have a look in the boot and see exactly how bad the damage is. So that's an area I haven't actually looked at properly yet. I've spent the last probably hour out here with an array of grindy scratchy bitey tools uh, beating up the inside of this Rover. I've cut out more of that floor back to good-ish metal. So there we can see good metal where the inner sill is along there. It disappears and gets frilly at the back so that's all going to have to come out. Um, then the heel board, mixed news really, more of it survived than it looked. Um, I've chopped about an inch off that bit uh, but that's not too bad. That chassis rail thing, I'll have to remake the flanges but that's not too bad. That's where the lateral reinforcer went from the chassis rail to the inner sill so that's the bit that fell out and pulled off with my hands so that's not a big deal to replace in here you can just see hopefully if I can get the light right two captive threads those are for the training arm that is the area that's crucial on these cars because replacing that bit can be a real ball like I've done it before but that's sorry that's the training arm and those two captive threads are on the back side of there so this has to be good metal or it's quite an involved repair unfortunately most of it is you've actually got three panels coming together here this thing is big chunky steel, like one and a half or two mil. Then you've got the inner sill, which is the continuation of that bit, and then the outer sill, and they all come together. This is actually okay. I've chopped a bit off here, which I know I'm gonna to need to fix, but the inner sill's okay up to about here. It'll need a patch in there. That bit's good, apart from some frilliness here, but the bit behind is excellent, which is great. And it's fine all the way through until the wheel arch starts. So that's good news. What I need to do now is repair all of that bit, finish the hill board, put another mounting in for the fuel tank there, seal all that off, put the inner seal to here, and then all of the rest of this can be repaired from that side afterwards when I change the seal. So it might, if you see it like I haven't done any of these bits, don't think I'm bodging it. I'm not, it's just that it's easier to do from that side afterwards so i'm going to get my impact gun and see if i can shift these now i don't want to undo them all the way because obviously they are holding the axle in which is what's holding the car up so if i undid them now the whole lot would shift forward and fall off the axle stands and that would be bad so i've lubed up them from the other side with wd i'm gonna get, get a hammer and beat on a six-sided here and then use the impact gun to try and undo them one at a time uh, so when one is undone, I put the other one back in, etc, etc, so it can't all fall over. That worked better than expected. Got both of them out, put that one back in, obviously because I didn't want it all falling on me. That one's stuck in the socket, but they're quite interesting 
well, not interesting, but different bolts. They're rather than round, they're actually triangular in profile. They're called triobular bolts, or they have another branded name like um, Tap Tight, I think it is, something like that. But um, these ones are past it because the heads are so knackered. But they're um, quite interesting bolts, and I need to get some more. So I'll either replace them with these if I can find them, or just use a big bolt with a, a self-locking washer, like a spring washer or something. But yeah, I think I'm gonna um, call it a day now because I'm a bit cold and it's about, I don't know, half seven maybe. But a general tour of the underside of this car. There's the prop. This is the torque tube extension and the bush housing for that and the cross member. That all looks good. This is the heel board on the other side and what the chassis rail should look like and the floor. We've all got like surface rust here and a bit of crap in that corner, but it's all much more solid. The whole floor all the way along. Look at that seam into that sill. It's all really nice. So compared to the other side, it's great. The floor has been pushed up a bit here by careless jacking or forklift activities again. Um, all the transmission tunnels fine, it's all covered in oil, so that's never going to rust. Uh, inner chassis looks good, and then <coughs> that's where the fuel tank goes, that's the fuel tank hanger bracket, rear axle, and then we come to the boot floor. It isn't as bad as I first thought, the tow bar, although it, the floor is deformed, it hasn't actually rusted as far as I can see. Um, we have a big hole here and some frilliness along there. So all of that will need, need to be chopped out. But what's good is that where the Watts linkage goes up here, all the way across to another mounting on that side over there. Most of that looks good. It might be something here. But yeah, the actual Watts linkage mountings are good towing eye brackets gone as they most do most of the time but um it's no big deal the other good news is that the cups these bits between the trailing arm and the axle are still there they rust out a lot of time and chop off so you lose um stability on the rear axle this is all good i have got brand new trailing arms poly bushes and um trading on forks so they'll be going on and all this stuff will go in the bin or maybe maybe those will be refurbed I don't know 